do appetite suppressant lollipops work? As we will see, probably not. However, they have received a recent boom of attention after an endorsement from Ms. Kim Kardashian alongside an earlier episode of the Dr. Oz show claiming that saffron, a proposed active ingredient in the lollipops, as a miracle appetite suppressant to kill your hunger. I wish they had called me first since these claims are not actually supported by the research. So, Kim, in the future, please feel free to call me on stuff like this because this myth is actually a great example of two common tactics that entice us to believe mythical claims. The first is based on what is called the magic ingredient effect, where some ingredient has been miraculously or scientifically discovered to be so effective it can make any product outstanding. For example, these soaps from the 1920s appeared to have a magical ingredient to reduce flesh or the nice way of saying fat. But when analyzed in 1929, they were found to be ordinary toilet soaps adulterated with talc. In the case of these lollipops, the supposed magical ingredient is satyril. It comes from the stigma of the saffron flower, which are dried and crushed into a powder. This website states that satyril is clinically proven, but no studies were cited, nor did I find any clinical studies in my own search. I did find a few studies that are likely culprits and highlight a second tactic that is commonly paired with the magic ingredient effect, hyperbole, especially exaggerating research findings to support astonishing claims or effects of that magic ingredient. For example, in this study, researchers compared two capsules of satyril per day, 176 milligrams, for eight weeks versus a placebo pill in around 60 mildly overweight women. The one question on satiety was not significantly different than the placebo, despite saying satiety did increase in the title of the study. I'm not sure how that got past the reviewers. The one question on hunger was statistically different, with the satyril group self-reporting feeling less hungry before meals on a five-point scale from one strongly disagree to five strongly agree. But it was only a measly 0.74 units. You can see the classic case of hyperbole of the results to make them sound better than they really are. So yes, they were statistically different, but not clinically different or different for real world applications, which is unfortunately not uncommon in studies funded by the company who makes the supplement. I did find a couple of other studies with little support for satyril in suppressing one's appetite. This study had overweight adults take two capsules totaling 178 milligrams of satyril for 28 days. Using a 15 centimeter line from low to high, they found minimal average change from week one to week four. Satiety ratings slightly increased from 8.2 to 10.6. Fullness ratings increased from 8.7 to 9.9. .9. And hunger slightly decreased from 6.5 to 5.2. So based on this study, you should only expect about a one centimeter change on the 15 centimeter scale, not that much. This study looked at one capsule of 30 milligrams of saffron extract per day for two weeks in patients with coronary artery disease. Using a 100 millimeter line, they found a whopping three millimeter change in satiety, fullness, and hunger. That's it. There are a few final things to note. First, these studies use around 175 milligrams of satyril per day. I could not find how much satyril was in the lollipops, but if there's not 175 milligrams, then we cannot even compare it to the minimal results that we just found in the research. My guess is that there's not that much in each lollipop, but who knows? Finally, the prescription is one to two lollipops per day. Each lollipop has nine grams of simple carbohydrate with seven grams being added sugar, the first two ingredients, and no fiber. So this prescription would add 18 grams to one's daily intake. The American Heart Association recommends less than 25 grams per day for women. So two lollipops are nearly 75% of the daily intake of sugar. Now, that's a lot of sugar for likely no effect on appetite suppression. So while I wait on Kim Kardashian to call me, I will call the claim of appetite suppressant lollipops busted.